APS has a big challenge on its hands. With the school year underway, there are 653 vacant positions. 200 of them are educational assistants. Fewer EAs means teachers who are already stretched thin are even more overwhelmed. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us how this could affect the learning process. Kim, I spoke with Kathy Chavez, their union president, who says there are a lot of things behind this shortage, starting with the workload. Well, to be completely honest, um, I don't think there's a whole lot of respect for those positions. They're certainly extremely underpaid for the work that they have to do. Chavez worked as an educational assistant for 17 years. She says EAs have a lot more responsibility and a lot less support. EAs are primarily used in kindergarten and special ed classes, and by state law, both kindergarten and special ed is entitled to have at least two people in each classroom. In some circumstances, a special ed class will get more depending on their need. Chavez says most of the EA openings, she guesses, are in special ed classes. Ellen Bernstein, the president of the Albuquerque Teachers Union, says it's a trickle down effect and it will impact everyone. Five year olds require a lot of attention to learn the routines and the rules, you know, how to hold scissors, how to sit down and be still, keep your hands to yourself, all those kindergarten skills. And if you're used to having two trained adults and you don't have that other adult, it really limits how much you can do with kids. Chavez says it's a common trend to see educational assistants leave at the beginning of the spring se semester. Now, Bernstein tells us the number of open EA positions is on par with last year. However, she says they have lost about 100 since the pandemic. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, EAs did just get a boost in pay during the last legislative session. Starting pay is now $15 an hour. Before that, they were making only $12,000 a year.